The view from the top never gets boring, and Rory McIlroy seems to enjoy the top end quite so much that once again in the 2022 CG Cup, he has regained his lost title of the world's number one golf player. The fact that it isn't McIlroy's first time at the top makes it more interesting because it's obvious that he's cracked the code that helps him get the victory. So what's the secret behind his non-stop victories, and how does he keep winning all the time? Let's find out. Born and raised in Hollywood in Down County of Northern Ireland, Rory McIlroy was born with a passion for golf ingrained in him. I'm not even kidding, his father was always surprised to see him show an extraordinary amount of interest in the game even when he was just a toddler. Rory got his early training from his father, but soon Jerry McElroy understood that the unfathomed interest that Rory got for the game could help him become a great player. So, considering his interests, Jerry asked professionals to help his son and provide him with the necessary guidelines so he can have a direct moving ahead. It's even reported that Jerry and his wife had to work overtime and multiple jobs to fund Rory's expenses. It's when you scratch the surface, you come to know how much effort has been put into someone's life. After Rory's father got him the best professionals who would train him and give him direction, Rory started to put in more effort. According to his coach, Michael Bannon, Rory used to practice for hours on the local golf course. And at the Under 10 Golf Championship, which happened in Florida, it was for the first time that Rory McIlroy proved his acumen for the sport. Before that, everyone knew that he was meant to do great things, but it was like there wasn't substantial proof to back that claim. Once he won the championship, it was certain that golf was Rory's thing. As an amateur, he won several leagues, and all his teenage years went successfully with him winning several accolades and bringing lots of silverware home. By the time he turned 15, he was known among the crude talent in golf and the golfing elite had already set their eyes on him. In 2007, he became the world's number one player in the world amateurs ranking. And it was his time to shine, so the very next year he announced joining the big leagues by becoming a professional golfer. Transitioning from amateur to professional leagues is a real deal. So as he became a professional golfer, he immediately had to face disappointments with near-miss losses in many games. You just need to be ready to face failure in life when you try to achieve great things. As it said, if you're not failing, that means you're not moving forward. That's just so true, and if we consider Roy's accomplishments as an amateur, he could have stayed there for a bit longer and earned more titles. Instead, he decided to join the professionals, and obviously, he failed at the start. Then again, after getting through the learning curve, he claimed his title in the European Tour of 2009 and established his position. The golf community was developing an impression of the new guy Rory, and just then in 2010, he won his first PGA Tour and proved his substance to everyone who was still in doubt. McElroy had bagged both European Tour and a PGA victory, but now his next pursuit was to win a Masters, as that's where the real treasure lies. Not that other tournaments aren't valuable, but it's when you compete against the legends, then this world extends its respect toward you. But once again, Rory was met with failures as the major victory slipped away by a few near misses. Again, Rory wasn't a quitter. So, he kept trying, and just two months after his losing game, he claimed his first major victory at the US Open, which happened in the Congressional Country Club in Maryland. After that, Rory didn't hold back and grabbed another major victory in 2012, and two more in 2014. Earning these four major victories, he joined the company of Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus and became the third player who won four majors by the age of 25. It wasn't his first record-breaking achievement though. In 2011, he became the youngest player to hit his first 10 million euros and the next year in 2012, he became the youngest golfer to reach 10 million dollars in career earnings. But when it comes to accomplishment in a game and proving the mantle, material things do not carry that much value. That's the thing though, Roy was winning on all fronts. Whether it was the monetary front or accomplishments at various tours, he was giving his best out there on the courses, and that was showing through his wins. Besides PGA, European Tour, and Masters, McElroy also joined the Writers' Club. He represented Europe, Great Britain, and Ireland. While of course, the pressure of representing a nation is enough for someone to stumble, not Rory though. He played six times at Riders Club for Europe against the United States, and out of those six times, he claimed four wins. It's not that stars and championship winners like McElroy don't falter. They do. And when they do, the attention they receive is even greater due to the expectations around them. 
though McElroy for years was performing at the maximum. But during the years from 2010 to 2014, he did falter a few times, sometimes missing out. There were multiple reasons, as this one time, Rory really struggled with his new equipment, resultantly losing the game. But they need to understand that winning and losing are a part of the game. Fortunately, Rory has always been surrounded by such people and mentors who keep a check on his emotional and mental state along with his physical health, and that has helped him maintain his class. To be honest, that's what is expected of a 9 times number one golfer. Yes, Rory has been the number one golfer in the world 9 times, spending a total of over 107 weeks in the position. This isn't some ordinary victory. Being number one for a few weeks is understandable, but consistently holding the records for it shows that it's not a bluff or a by chance thing. It's the real deal. He claimed this title multiple times in 2012, 2014, 15, and once in 2020, and now he has regained it this year in CG Cup. Rory is a great golfer, and that was proved back in 2012 when he climbed to the top for the very first time. But now, when a decade has passed and he once again is now the number one player, proves that the same level of greatness has prevailed in his plays throughout these years. But doing it requires effort and determination. If you think otherwise, then you're simply fooling yourself. As McElroy said, getting the title of number one is cool and it feels great in the moment, but the bad thing is you have to work harder to stay there. I think, when you're striving towards something, not that it's easier to get there, but like once you get there, it's great. But I think the hard work is actually staying there. When I lost the title, it was sort of like a heavyweight boxer losing a world title and it's a journey to get that title back. And then the cool part is the journey to reach the top again. I know most of you came here to find the secret key or a code that Roy McElroy cracked to reach the top of the world in golf. It might disappoint you, but the fact is, there is no such thing as a cheat code in this life. There's just hard work and determination that will help you win in the world. There is no doubt that Roy has been playing the best golf throughout his career, as proved by his 12 top 10, 10 top 5, and 9 number 1 wins in the golf world ranking. McElroy, alongside proving himself to be a great player, has also shown the world the real medal that he possesses lies in his fine character and strong emotional intelligence. In fact, strong morals, values, and emotional superiority is a prerequisite if you're planning to achieve something truly valuable. If you're still looking for a code, then I would say you need to become a man of strong character with real determination to achieve something, and that is when you'll get what you so dearly want. Rory McIlroy was lucky that there were people who understood his passion at very initial stages and helped him reach his true potential. If someone did crack the code, it was Rory's father, who got him the best mentors. Rory transformed his passion and interest into his career, and with all the untiring workouts and vigorous practices on courses, he has a claim to be the best golf player in the world right now. From tightly hugging his plastic clubs while sleeping to become a superstar at the game, Rory really came a long way. So what are your thoughts about it? Do you think there exists a code to achieve greatness in life? Let me know in the comments section below. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and do hit the bell icon so you get a notification when we upload more such videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.